Hey, Shalom to the elect. I want to give all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Dash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, that were well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. You know? Amen. Amen. This is walk and talk, you know, mainly based off of Ecclesiastes 1 and 18. All right? You know, just meditating on it real quick. You know, man, because in this society, man, you realize, I, man, I'm going to just read it. I'm going to read it first. So, it's lucky. So, this is the book of, <laughs> man, I wait to get into this. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 1. In verse eight, in verse eighteen, okay, and it says, "It's locked, bear with me." Ecclesiastes one and eighteen, and it says, "For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow." Okay, so pretty much it's saying like, us brothers, man, you know, we have what, you know, we had this wisdom, right? It's knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And with this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, all right, you understand how the world should be run, okay? You understand how, how you pretty much understand, you know, you like, you look, with this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that we have, man, all right, and knowing how things should be, which is according to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, okay? You know? Hey. With this knowledge, wisdom, with this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that we have, and we understand that the way things should be, which is according to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and we look at the world and how it is today, okay, and we see that, and we see that it's out of order, all right. Then, hey, what? You know, what, what, that causes you grief, okay? Which is frustration. You know, that frustrates you, okay. And that's another thing too, like, you know, because people in the world, you know, they look at you. And um, and what you know, I don't know if you any, any of your brothers have heard this before. I know some brothers have, but you know, they look at you. You know, you know, you might have a frown on your face, or you might be pissed off. You know, and they say, why you why do you look so mean, or why you always look upset, or why you look so sad, or you know, stuff of that nature. Cause we understand that this world is fucking insane. <laughs> this world is not righteous, man. We understand the way that things should be. You see. But, you know, when you, if you was to explain all this to them, they would look at you like you're crazy, but they don't understand that scripture, Ecclesiastes 1 and 18. For much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases knowledge increases, increases sorrow. You see how, you see how blinded these people are, man? You know, they, 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 they can't tell their fucking left toe from their left foot, you know? You know? And, this is, and that scripture also explains, man, you know, why we sigh, you know, these abominations and stuff, you know, we, when, when I said it, I mean, pretty much that's, that, that's not scripture that shows you, man, why we are upset, okay? Because we understand that, that things should be according to the way of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, all right? And you look at this world, it's out of fucking order, man. This world ain't being governed, it's not righteous, man, you know? It's not righteous, okay? And this frustrates and upsets, you know, the elect, okay? You know, but there's gonna be a new righteous order coming, okay? A new righteous order, you see? Don't worry, man, but, you know, that scripture is heavy, man, because people really, you know, I've heard it before, you know, not talking to myself a lot, but I've heard it before, man. You know, people say, why do you always look so upset? Why do you look so mad all the time? Because I'm fucking pissed. You should be pissed off with this fucking place. It, see, if you tell that, if you tell people of this world stuff like that today, they're going to look at you like you're crazy. You should be pissed off with this place, man. You know? Number one, this is, don't forget that this is the land of our captivity. This is one of the lands of our captivity. Us as Israelites, you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, man. Don't forget that this place, America, but aka Babylon the Great, all right, aka modern Egypt, okay. This 
is one of the one of the main places of our captivity. You know, this is like the main place of our of, of, of uh, our captivity, man. You know, you understand that? And you look at your, your, you you look at all these fucking people, man. This shit is fucked. This this, this this society is fucked up, man. It's it's it's, it's fucked the fuck up. All right. You know, you look at your people, your people is all down, okay? You know, you look at the women, they all out of order, you know? <sighs> See, but, you know, um, and then you look at the so-called white man, okay? Which whenever time, every time, you know, we see something bad happen, you know, regarding him, like, for example, Biden falling on, you know, brothers got to laugh at that, man. <laughs> you know? But... Other than that, you know, we look at the East Edomites, man. All right, even if looking at them vexes you some of the time, you know. It's just, man, this this place is all fucked up. You have you have every reason in the world to fucking hate this place, you know. You have every fucking reason to hate this place, man. This fucking society, this this fucking world, man. You know. Let me just check something real quick. Black Bashar, just bear with me one second. Uh, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 6, starting at verse 54. And it says, And after these, Adam also, whom thou made us Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also who now is chosen. Okay? You know, everyone has come from Adam, including the chosen line, all right? Verse 55, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. You know, so Ezra said all what he said in the previous verses to say that the Lord made the world for us. Verse 56, as for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou said that they are nothing, but be like on a spittle, and it's like in the abundance of them unto a drop that falls from a vessel. You see, so the heathen nations... The Lord regards them as spit, okay? You know, you spit on the ground. You don't, you don't care about that spit, man. You know? That's how the, that's how these other nations is like to the Lord, you know? The Lord don't, you know. So, knowing this, knowing that we're better than these heathens, man, you know? Like, I'm, just, I'm giving you reasons of of just, you know, why you should why you should be angry at this fucking society, man. Giving you reasons why you should feel this way. You know, people, I'm telling you, people nowadays, if you tell them stuff like this, they're going to look at you like you're crazy. Why? Because they can't see or don't, most of them, majority of them can't see and don't want to see that how fucked up this place is, man. You know, the people are all just out of order. Nobody's, the majority of people are not following the ways of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, okay? You know, you got... You got moles out here running rampant, okay? You know? The, the the food you eat ain't even real food, man. You know? What else? The clothes. We're supposed to have clothes of one fabric. You don't even have that. Your women. More than likely, everybody, man, at this point in time, everybody knows about these women, man. Especially these, um, these, uh, what especially you know these western women but you know these women are out of order man i'm giving you reasons these are just few of many reasons why you shouldn't like this place fuck this goddamn society man this 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 east all this is happening under esau's rulership man you see we we have a whole when you when you want to say that you're gonna rule the entire earth you want out this motherfucker it's like saying if you locked up for a certain period of time and you and you come out and you know you're gonna have all of these good things coming towards you, you know, say you're gonna be a boss of something or or you know, stuff like you know, just say you're gonna have all these good things coming towards you, man. You know? It's like bro, you went out this motherfucker. You know? So like, hey man, hey man. You know, you went out this, you went out this motherfucker when you realized that, man. You know, this place ain't it. This place ain't it. You know, but I'm gonna end it with one scripture. 
real quick. This is not get this real quick. This is the book of Second Peter, chapter three, verse thirteen. Nevertheless, and also that that scripture Ecclesiastes one and eighteen goes to show you. Also, man, you know the elect mainly ain't gonna, they ain't not gonna have that mind state of you know fun. They're gonna be in a, a angry, you know, frustrated mind state. You know, currently, all right. Second Peter three and thirteen. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens, meaning a new rulership. When when the so talking about pretty much when Israel is in power. Second Peter six and nine. It says, "In a new earth, a refreshed planet Earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness." Man, you see, so that's coming. So, hey man, you know, that's coming, man. So hey, with that. I'm going to give all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechah Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, never well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Peace, which is in Hebrew, Shalom. So, Shalom to the elect.